today in UFO history. The Red Bluff Incident August 13th through 14th, 1960 Red Bluff, California 11.50 p.m. Highway Patrol Officers Charles A. Carson and Stanley E. Scott, plus three others at Red Bluff, California, are on patrol when they see what they think at first is an airliner about to crash. It turns out to be a maneuvering silent red light, with five white lights descending to 100 to 200 feet altitude. It suddenly reverses course, climbs to 500 feet, hovers, sweeps the ground with a red beam, performs aerial gymnastics, then heads east, chased by the police car. It is joined by a similar object from the south, then it disappears in the east. A local radar operator confirms the UFO at the time, but denies it the next day. Tahoma County Sheriff's officers also report the same UFO, and another similar one the same night. Blue Orb's Note This sighting occurred amidst a number of other sighting reports in the Tahoma County area, lasting at least a week. The Air Force Project Blue Book, as well as astrophysicist and skeptical UFO investigator Donald Menzel, explained these sightings as temperature inversions that resulted in refractions of stars and planets. Atmospheric physicist and UFO investigator James McDonald, at the 1967 meeting of the American Society of Newspaper Editors. How did uh, uh, two California Highway Patrolmen uh, at uh, Red Rock, uh, uh, California, uh, stand uh, about 150, 200 feet uh, from a 100-foot-long object that uh, had great big white blinking lights on it uh, that maneuvered up and down and uh, led them a chase of about 70 minutes? In his prepared remarks for this speech, McDonald writes, quote, The Blue Book explanation that came out after a few days attributed this very detailed close-range sighting of a large object seen by two experienced officers to refraction of the planet Mars and the two bright stars Aldebaran and Betelgeuse. NICAP referred the question to one of their astronomical advisors, who found that none of the three celestial objects were even in the California skies at the time. Blue Book then changed the explanation to read Mars and Capella. Capella, the only one of these celestial bodies that was even in the California skies at 2300, was nowhere near the location of the sighted object, and could not, of course, give the impression of the various maneuvers clearly described by the officers. Unquote. Original text and research by Jeff Knox. Check out his tweets for more. Also check out Saturday Night Euphoria's extensive article on this case. Links in the description. I'm Telesma Blue Orb. Thank you for watching.